Creature Presents The Wisdom Notes Volume 1 Number 2 Page 3 February 1st, 1968 Dear Blessed One The time has come to say that anyone who faithfully practices the Eck Initiation Special Exercise will accept self-responsibility for whatever situation comes into his life. He will know that to call upon the master via any physical means is not the proper way of resolving his difficulties. I have said many times that the master answers the chiller inwardly and if the chiller is able to grasp the answer to his request he will fortunately take hold and act accordingly this is all that is needed this is what i have reiterated time and again if the master must answer telephones and write letters to those who want spiritual assistance he would be doing little more than this what is being said here is that the master is limited on the physical plane but never on the inner planes he is a completely free soul and can be in all places at the same time omnipresent is all wise omniscient and all powerful omnipotent since the master is free then he can be at the side of the chiller at all times. This means every chiller who has been within his arena of spiritual endeavor. He is as close to every chiller who has the initiation as their own breath, their own heartbeat, because he loves all those who are interested enough to go ahead with the works of Eck and Carr. He protects them and keeps off all harm. If a situation arises and thus hardships appear, the initiate must realize this is only an illusion. It may not seem nor feel to be an illusionary thing, but nevertheless, it is whatever the initiate makes of it. He must remember that by now he is becoming so powerful and his thoughts, actions and deeds that many things around him are responding to him. Therefore, he must be careful in the management of his inner being. If he dwells in a negative state someone is going to respond in this manner and vice versa he must be careful never to let down and his inner self regardless of what might be the outer scene he is responsible not only for himself but for those around him because the initiate is now far more advanced and powerful than those who have not had the opportunity to study ek nor be initiated into it the important part of the discourse is lies in one factor that is thinking of the inner master and allowing him to be the guiding one and the initiates life. When the initiate does this, he is on safe ground because he can't have the protection and freedom from harm. Nothing can touch him from now. He's wrapped in the cloak of spiritual immunity. He is not concerned with words, deeds, nor thoughts. He knows what is right in his life and how to keep his rightness as his own coat. The second phase of the secret teaching is knowing. I have spoken of knowingness so many times and yet few have accepted what was being said. I have given example of it and tried to push it into the mind of the chillers but it never lodged there as an idea. 
when one comes to the level of the second initiation then he should never be a failure at handling situations he can't be in charge of his own life nothing should bother him nor involve him or engage him unless he so desires for life as a series of involvements means that he is going to be the effect of the causes of others but now as the knower of things he is able to manage his life by knowing in advance what the answer will be he determines this himself by establishing the attitude that is already is then he must leave in the state knowing that since he has established the inner experience that the outer must follow this inner experience is now important in his life it must first take place before the outer can be a positive event so many people have a negative life simply because they allow the inner experience to be one of the negative nature so what the initiate does is simply that he takes control of his inner life and makes the outer what he desires it to be the impotency of anyone who cannot experience what he wants in the outer is because he has not disciplined himself on the inner side once he takes hold and determine what is desired to be his outer life he will at once become what he desires to be on the outer the third phase of the secret teaching is self-recognition this goes hand in glove with the knowingness one must recognize that he has experienced and hold to it it is a fact that whatever he look at inwardly is what we are going to receive outwardly but we must be able to have a recognition of what this might be that we are seeking or constantly looking whatever it is we need in life is already here and all we need to do is to recognize it within ourselves for whatever it is will be first experienced inwardly before it is outwardly received now this self-recognition experience belong in the same category we must recognize ourselves for whatever we are and nothing more therefore recognition comes when we are able to see for ourselves that we are that we are in other words if we are able to have a recognition of ourselves being in position of self realization then we accept this as part of the nature of ourselves whenever we do the inner experience will come outwardly the sense will establish the outer realization of what has taken place inside of the individual therefore self-recognition is important in every inner experience which you have during our lives unless we do this objective senses at the mercy of the disturbing influences of the outer world the master is always willing to assist in every request made by the chiller but the initiate must be in position to assist the master with his work now he's a part of it and must begun to serve on the higher plane with love and life my love always protects you affectionately Paul thank you for listening <laughs>